Welcome back. A local artist is looking to inspire some kids. That's right. Curtis Robert Brown Jr. has made it his mission to share his passion for reading. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I love this. You and the whole setup is just so colorful. You're already yeah. making me smile and making me happy. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background. You were working at a local hospital, and that's where you got the opportunity, obviously, to showcase your writing skills, and I'm assuming work with some kids and really find your passion yes, in yes, life. Yes, I work at uh, Orange Park Medical Center, and they gave me the first opportunity at their teddy bear clinic, which I will be at the second one coming up in December 2nd. So I'll be there reading and signing autographs again. A now, teddy bear clinic. you've got a great background story. You are a Chicago native. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. First, I want to thank everybody. You know, thank you guys for having me a second time. And um, reading is my passion and writing is a passion. And with everything that's going on in the world, you know, I think we lost the touch of the human mm -hmm. aspect of life. And you know, I just want people to pay attention to the messages, not just the images that are portrayed. So and so when you left Chicago and you came here, how did you make that transition and find your passion here in Jacksonville? Because picking up from a city that you've grown up in and moving someplace, I can't say Jacksonville and Chicago are very similar in many ways at all. So how did you find your place here and then find your path here? Well, um, started off just knocking on doors and um, when met some wonderful people who just gave me the opportunity and and showed me the way myself. I'm self-published, so everything I do is by myself. Um, I write, draw, color, everything. I'm the illustrator. So I just linked up with the right people and just started to do it and just took my time. And I don't know, it just... And what are the stories about? Give That's what I want to know. Because yeah. I was telling you that I was one of the kids that I was not into reading. I was more, here's, here's a baseball mitt, go outside. So finding a passion for reading is, is is tough, and I think that was your goal. So let's hear a little bit about the story and what, well, the, what kids are loving about it. The story, well, they love the title first. I lost my laugh. It's about a little boy. He loses his laugh at the massive sneeze, and uh, he chases it through the city only to lose it again and then goes to Laugh World where he meets a, a plethora of characters, and he's just in search of his laugh. And um, it's the moral of the story is always pursue your happiness, always chase your laugh, no matter what, no matter how much you lose it, to continuously chase it. You followed that up with another another book, and I have one coming out this year. It's gonna be titled "We're Going to Frown Land." Oh, we're going yeah. to oh, give us a sneak peek. Why are we going to Frown Land? <laughs> so, and is this the same young boy, or is yes, this a new Yes, it's always character? no. It's always gonna be the same characters. Um, he's going because he loses his laugh again, and this go this go round is about you know meeting why people don't want you to be happy and what's going on, and so he's gonna go and we're gonna see if he gets his laugh back and if that that is it. Well, and let me ask you this: What age group do you think is best for this? And are you is the boy going to age as he goes through his adventures? And so that kind of demographic will change a little bit. Well, I can only imagine like a little three-year-old coming to you and go, "Did you lose your laugh today?" Yeah, like, yeah, when exactly. mom or dad are in a bad mood, like, "Did you lose your laugh today, mommy?" <laughs> yes, the age groups are from pre-readers all the way up to I say what third grade. Um, I'm big on literacy, and I, there's a huge literacy problem here, just not here, but all over. Right, right. So I push past third grade um, to really help with local kids to, to better themselves. Um, and yes, they kids do run up and ask, <laughs> did you lose your laugh? But he is going to get older after this series sneak pre preview there i'm starting go. a new series oh and right. that will be for the higher grades well before we go where can people get more information about you the books the characters and everything. i want to come to teddy bear world I know. and listen yeah. to you read because that just sounds like the best de-stress well, place ever <laughs> well you can uh find me on uh facebook at i lost my laugh um the books are available on amazon barnes and noble books a million and um also just you can see me around local doing local things with um like the book club book clubs that are here um and I you just do readings? did. Yes, I do readings. I do autographs. I just did one Saturday oh, for Space to Lunch Book Club. Um, they're out of Fort Lauderdale, and they came oh, wow. up and wanted me to be a part of it. And um, they're just helping local authors get their names out. So, big shout out to Space well, to congratulations Lunch. Congratulations on all your success and all your future <laughs> endeavors. You. And we we'll look forward to hearing more about this young man going to Brownland. I know, right? <laughs>